Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sitsuki, your host. Today I'll be showing you or revealing to you how I made my third eye video glasses. So I'm going to show you how I got started. And then uh, this video will just talk about the um, devices and what's needed. Uh, maybe in the next video I'll show you how to hook up, say, different software. And in the following video I may show you how to uh, hook up, let's say, an Android phone to the um, to the third eye video glasses okay so there's a <clears throat> three four video to go but let's look at first the actual hardware and then how you would go about um, putting it together okay and maybe I'll show you a bit of the software as well how to interface with this hardware all right let's get started okay let's see what we need we need scissors and tape we need the video Google video glasses. This is a sharper uh, image uh, video glasses, right? Now the important thing is it doesn't matter what company you know uh, video glasses you are going to get, but make sure minimum it should have uh, a native resolution of 640 by 480. That's a VGA mode, okay? Minimum, otherwise. You're gonna have problem with the interfacing with your uh, devices. In fact, I recommend uh, higher, much higher. But uh, but I, this is what I have right now, and so we're gonna stay with that for now. Okay. Now another important thing about the video glasses, other than uh, having a native uh, video of um, VGA or higher, is that it has a connector that will connect to a VGA or HDMI. Very important. 9% of these video glasses does not have this ability. You need to get uh, a video glasses that has that ability so you can hook up to your computer, right? Or um, uh, computer devices, right? So then next thing, okay, that's the video glasses. Next thing is you wanna get is the VGA connector, mail to mail in this case. Of course you have HDMI, you don't have to worry about this, but like I said, this is all I have. And now I'm going to show you um, just from the old technology that I can still make my own uh, Google Video Glasses or I call it a third eye glasses, my version of video, uh, Google Video Glasses. Okay, so what you want to do is hook it up like this uh, to your video glasses. And of course you need a device, um, a computer device, smaller the better. This is the smallest I can get for myself. It's a, eight, a seven inch Samsung tablet PC. So I, I wish I could get one of those smaller one. I saw one. Um, it's a Q. I think it's OQO uh, small computer. But um, again, I don't have that uh, accessibility to get those computers. So I'm um, I'm gonna use this instead. But you will uh, get what I mean by um, just using any type of computers, right? You want a portable one, obviously. Netbook would be another ideal one because it's portable. Okay. So now the other mail. VGA uh, connector will be connecting to directly to your computer in this case here right so there we have connection oops there connected right yeah there we go so you have a portable computer connecting through the VGA connected to your um, video glasses and we're almost there now of course I wear glasses so I'm gonna put the video glass on top of my uh, prescription glasses like this right it'll sit like here so notice it's crisscrossing that you want to tape it crisscrossing and then you, when you wear your glasses okay and you look up okay like okay so you can imagine your eyes your eyes here you look up and there it is their information the the video uh, screen is up there, right? Of course, uh, I remember um, one of the uh, uh, viewer asked about uh, wouldn't that be straining to the eyes? Yes, it would be if you do it use do it too often, right? What you want to do is you want to just like video Google video glasses is it's not meant for you know constant use. Obviously, it's going to strain your eye. So same thing here. What you want to do is you want to when you have an urgent message, email or uh, text messages. Or you want to check information, uh, you know, urgently. Look up here, uh, glance for a couple uh, second or maybe a minute or, or less, and then you get your information and you're done. And then you know, 
any stock option, um, stock information on that uh, GPS location on you can do that as well okay so you can because it remember it's hooked up to your computer and computer any type of computer uh, you know any kind of stuff you have in your computer whether it's GPS whether it's um, uh, uh, internet right mobile stick that you connect to to pretty much what a computer sees your Google uh, I mean you're sorry your third eye video glasses can see as well all right now I'm gonna pile this up and I'll show you all right what it uh, looked like okay so what you need is of course is the uh, computer interface I turn on the computer already right so the computer the uh, Samsung uh, tablet PC is turned on okay it's hooked up to a VGA connector like I showed you before and then it connected to my video glasses which is right here Let me show you. oops okay, hold on. There we go. Okay, so you can see whatever you can see on this uh, computer, you should be able to see it on the Google Glasses, and I'll show you. Okay, so let's see. Let's zoom. Let's zoom in. Oh, what's happening here? Got turn off. There we go. Okay, there we go. See, you can see on one side. Oops. Uh, let's not get it too close. There's one side, and then the other side there. All right. So whatever you see here, you should be able to see on the glasses, the video glasses. Okay. So whatever I do on this computer, this portable computer, I should be able to see it on this computer, on this uh, video glasses. So if this has a Bluetooth enabled, it has a GPS. It has whatever you want to put on this computer. I should be able to see it through this video glasses. That's why I call it the third eye video glasses. All right. So I wear it with my prescription glasses. I look up, and I should be able to see the information. So depending on the power of your uh, computer, in this case, it's a tablet PC XP. Uh, it's uh, Bluetooth enabled, so I can use my keyboard uh, through Bluetooth. It uh, can also, if I if I have a built-in cell phone in here, which I don't, but if it it, if it has that ability, it can also receive uh, calls, right? But anyway, if you have internet, uh, internet stick and all that, you can use um, uh, uh, I guess you can use Google Talk and all those uh, you know software that you can interface and call uh, through through internet, right? You can do that. Okay, next time I'm going to show you how to interface uh, Android to this v Google, uh, sorry, these um, third eye video glasses, right? Um, you need a special device to do that, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so that's it. That's very simple. You don't need much. Uh, I hope you get started uh, to make your own um, uh, third eye video glasses and be inspired to do that. Okay, but remember, very important is that this uh, video glasses has to be a um, minimum of resolution of 640 by 480 native uh, resolution but has an upscale to do 800 by 600 just like this laptop can scale down to 800 by 600 and that's why this uh, tablet uh, computer is able to interface with this uh, uh, video glasses and on top of that that's number one so you need to have a minimum of 640 by 480 DPI the second thing is make sure the video glasses has an interface of VGA or HDMI. All right, that's very important. <laughs> you will not be able to connect to your computer without this, right? So your computer has to have a VGA or HDMI to connect to a computer. Otherwise, um, using like what's those AV connector? That's only for watching movies, right? It's not going to be able to, you know, see the computer. All right, I'll talk to you soon, and next time I will show you how to connect to the Android phone. I don't know when. I need to get the, the hardware to put it together, and then when I do, I will show it to you. All right, so have fun.